Hello everyone, I am Medha and today I am going to explain the topic Global Submission of Abbreviated New Drug Application ENDA. So the table of content includes introduction, basic generic drug requirement, goals of ANDA, bioequivalence, exclusivity, hatch vaccine amendments and 180 days exclusivity, types of patent certification and abbreviated new drug approval process in USA. Introduction Now what is ANDA? Abbreviated new drug application contains data which is submitted to FDA for the review and potential approval of a generic drug product. Once approved, an applicant may manufacture and market the generic drug product to provide a safe, effective, lower cost alternative of the brand name drug it differences. Now what is generic drug? Generic drug product is one that is comparable to an innovator drug product in dosage form, strength, route of administration, quality, performance, characteristics and intended use. Now why there is the use of term abbreviated? So the term abbreviated means they are generally not required to include preclinical and clinical data to establish safety and effectiveness. Instead, generic applicants may scientifically demonstrate that their product is performs in the same manner as the innovator drug. What are the basic generic drug requirements? So basic generic drug requirements are it must have same ingredient, active ingredient, same dosage form, same route of administration, same strength, same conditions of use, inactive ingredients already approved in a similar manner in NDA. Now goals of ANDA to reduce the price of drug, to reduce the time development, increase the bioavailability of the drug in comparison to reference list of drugs. Bioequivalence. A generic drug is considered to be bioequivalent to the brand name drug when the rate and extent of absorption of the drug do not show a significant difference from the listed or reference drug. Second one, when the extent of absorption does not show a significant difference or any difference in rate is intentional or not medically significant from the reference or listed drug. What is exclusivity? Exclusivity is exclusive marketing rights granted by the FDA upon approval of a drug and can run co concurrently with a patent or not. It prevents the submission or effective approval of ANDA or applications described in the section 505B2 of the Act and was designed to promote a balance between new drug innovation and generic drug competition. Now, four types of exclusivity that falls under the NDA statutory requirements. First one is Orphan Drug Exclusivity, ODE, which is for seven years. And second is New Chemical Exclusivity, NCE, that is for five years. Now, NCE granted to drugs that contains no active moiety that has been approved by FDA under Section 505B. Okay. Now, third one is other exclusivity. It's granted for three years for a change if criteria are met. They, this include two drugs when application or supplement contains reports of new clinical investigation, not bioavailability studies conducted or sponsored by applicant and essential for the approval. Fourth one is pediatric exclusivity PED. It's for six months added to the existing patent or exclusivity. PD additional six months of market protection at the end of the listed patent or exclusivity for sponsors drug product contain the active moiety.
Now Hatch Waxman amendments and 180 days exclusivity. Before Hatch Waxman amendment, generic manufacturer could file ANDA only after innovator's patent expiry or cancellation. But under Section 505J5P of Hatch Waxman amendment, it permits permission and filing of ANDA before patent expiration so that the effective approval date of generic drug would be on expiration date of the patent of innovators original drug. What is 180 day exclusivity? This 180 day exclusivity provide an in incentive of 180 days of market exclusivity to the first generic applicant who challenges a listed patent by filing a paragraph 4 certification and running the risk of having to defend a patent infringement suit. The first company to submit an ANDA with the FDA has the exclusive right to market the generic drug for 180 days. Type of patent certifications. So there are four types of patent certification. Paragraph 1, Paragraph 2, Paragraph 3 and Paragraph 4. So, in paragraph 1, the drug has not been patented. In second, the patent has already expired. In third paragraph, the generic drugs will not go on the market until the day of expiry of patent. In paragraph 4, the patent is not infringed or the patent is invalid. So, in paragraph 1st and 2nd, if a drug manufacturer certified the paragraph 1 and 2, then the FDA starts processing the generic ANDA right away. For third paragraph, if a generic drug manufacturer certifies that paragraph 3 is valid, then FDA starts processing the ANDA and gives approval that when the patent expires, then the generic drug will go in market. In paragraph 4, ANDA filer notifies the patent holder within 20 days. Then patent holder must sue the infringement within 45 days. If the patent holder sues, FDA must withhold approval for 30 months. And this is for only first one time. If the patent holder does not sue, then FDA may approve the ANDA at any time. If a court rules that patent is not infringed or invalid, FDA may proceed after decision. And if first generic ANDA files, then the first company will get the 180 days exclusivity. Abbreviated new drug approval process in USA. Its requirements are Signed FDA form number 356H, labeling, pharmacology, toxicology, chemistry, manufacturing, controls, microbiology, inspection or testing, and bioequivalence. FDA form number 356 includes the applicant's name and address, name of the drug product, the product strength, route of administration, Indication of drug master file cited. Proposed indications. Labeling must be include same information as brand name labeling. Pharmacology or toxicology includes all in inactive ingredients must be approved in either the reference listed drug or similar NDA in same or higher level. Now chemistry, manufacturing and control in should describe the composition, manufacture, specifications and analytical procedures for the drug substance and drug product. Microbiology should include microbiological information, inspection and testing of uh, the site where it's being manufactured and bioequivalence include the information that shows that drug product is bioequivalent to the references reference listed drug upon which the applicants relies. This is the flow chart for the approval of ANDA process. 
so the applicant will file the ANDA form uh, to FDA if it's complete and acceptable then it will be reviewed by OGD Office of Generic Drug or CDER if it's not complete then it's refused to file letter issued to the uh, applicant then when it is reviewed by OGD there are four parameters which are which they review it that bioequivalence review chemistry microbiology review request for plants inspect inspection labeling review so if all the review are correct then it's yes and it will be generated that pre-approval inspection acceptable or not if there is anything missing like if bioequivalence review is not acceptable then the they will generate bioequivalence deficiency letter to the applicant and if the chemistry microbiology or labeling review is not acceptable then they will not approve the letter of ANDA if everything is right then pre-approval inspection will be generated and if pre-approval inspection is good then ANDA is approved for that generic drug and if it's not good then approval is deferred and it will be pending until the satisfactory results will come from the applicant's side this is all from my side reference for my presentation thank you